So we started to use the text message feature fairly early on in the first lockdown of the pandemic when we initially launched our Team Kinetic portal probably around late March, early April. So we had um, quite a, a substantial funding um, grant through, which allowed us to buy a great big text bundle. And I knew about the texts and how they worked um, through the work we've done with TK before. So. so initially we used the text messages to send um, our volunteers that were supporting local residents through the pandemic with their um, community tasks, a text to show that they're a verified volunteer for us. It was pre uh, the ID cards, so it was a, a quick and easy way for us to um, to give them something that was mobile, um, that they could show the person that they were turning up at their door, that they were like a, volunteer, a verified volunteer. So that was the first thing we used it for. But obviously, uh, once the ID cards came into play on the community task dashboard and things started to move, um, we kind of flipped to um, where the first lockdown had happened and we had lots of volunteers supporting us and people were clambering over wanting to do tasks and things like that, which was great. In between the lockdowns, we were still providing support to residents and um, there were some tasks that were kind of hanging around for a while. It was like people hadn't picked them up. So um, we used the text bundle to email, uh, sorry, to text out to our street champions to say, we've got a couple of tasks on the dashboard. Can somebody pick them up? Um, so that, that's how we, how we tend to use them now, to be honest. Definitely, I mean, it, um, between that and the emails, it's, it's, we can have um, more of an impact in terms of communicating straight away with volunteers. It, it's that instant impact for us, into, particularly when there's an urgent need in terms of um, volunteer support. Um, we've also used it where, with sort of like recently with our vaccination volunteers, where volunteers have dropped shifts and there's been a need to uh, gaps and things. Um, so we ask them to kind of quickly log in and have a look and see if they're able to pick up a shift. So that's been, again, we've, we've had full commitment through our vaccination centre roles, maximum volunteers all the way through, which is brilliant for us. I suppose for me, it's just it's an added bonus um, in terms of being able to communicate quite directly um, with with volunteers that we're not always in, in connection with and we've not, <clears throat> we don't see physically. And I, I don't suppose it, it'd matter that much even when we're back in whatever the new normal is going to be and we do see people on a regular basis. I think the text messages will still be um, a massive benefit in terms of that quick turnaround and communication um, with volunteers around um, shift patterns and things. For example, uh, I mean, we've never used them at the hospital. So we, we work with uh, Team Kinetic Portal and we have done for four or five years at Warrington Hospital. Uh, never ever used the uh, text, text message uh, system before. Um, one, because we've never had uh, the funding to be able to do that. But again, with some added, um, added funds and things we've been able to put a little bit of a bundle on there too so again we've used it for um, contacting our wayfinders or where there's been um, an urgent need for uh, I don't know, a sort of like people to support again the vaccination centre or you know we, we've needed a, a, a quick turnaround on support um, and I'm, I'm, I think we could probably do that again going forwards. I think even when we start to bring our volunteers back, it'll be a great tool. And we use it differently in the hospital in terms of the communication that we do in St Helens through the volunteer centre. So with the hospital, it's linked directly to a phone number, which helps that two-way communication. With the uh, volunteer centre we actually just link it to a, um, a name so they understand it's just from us and there's no response from that um, so they know that, that, that for them it's about their, their them having to make an action take action rather than a respond and, and communicate with us directly it's, 
a great, like for me, it's a great way of communicating very quickly and getting action from volunteers very quickly too. Um, particularly if you've got um, maybe an event or um, you're providing urgent response support, it's a great way of, of supporting that quick action for volunteers to get engaged, get involved and get moving.